Welcome to our daily rosary meditation. Let's begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's call to mind all those we've promised to pray for. Now, in most places, today, Sunday, we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension, even though we know the event took place 40 days after the resurrection, which would have been Thursday. Now, why did Jesus ascend into heaven? Couldn't our Lord have stayed visibly on earth? Why does he leave after so little a time when such a small portion of humanity has even had the opportunity to see him face to face? As a matter of fact, in the Gospel of John, Jesus tells us exactly why he chose to leave. He said, Truly, it is better for you that I go away, because if I do not go, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, will not come to you. But if I go, I will send the Spirit to you. Now consider how the disciples had, for the most part, simply watched while Jesus preached, healed, forgave, suffered, and worked to build the kingdom of God. Even now that he's risen, the apostles still remain passive content to wait and see what Jesus will do next. They seem to expect him to continue leading the way. I mean, even look at their last question. Lord, will you now restore the kingdom of Israel? But the apostles' time of watching is over. God has granted us the inconceivable honor of being his co-workers in the task of saving souls. St. Paul wrote as much when he said, For we are co-workers with God. So the time of being passive consumers is over. Now is the time to get to work. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. So it's better for us that Jesus has ascended, because it's better for us to actually participate in the work of God and not just be passive observers. And the one who makes this all possible is the Holy Spirit. 
the Holy Spirit, sent by the Ascended Lord, gives life to the church by transforming Jesus' disciples from passive to active, from observers to initiators, from listeners into proclaimers of the gospel. This is our time, the time of the Spirit and the time of the church. When we think about the ascension, one of the things we should meditate on is this. Christ ascended so that we who have received the Spirit could do His work. And Jesus was always busy about His Father's business. And our mission, until our life on earth is over, is also to be busy about the Father's business. In fact, Jesus gave a final commission to His disciples. Just before His ascension, He told us all, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teach them all that I have commanded you. Now, Jesus was not just speaking to the quote-unquote professionals. He was speaking to all of us who bear his name, Christian. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Okay, I want to do what Jesus asked. I want to help him save souls, especially those of my loved ones. But I have no idea what to do. And I don't feel equipped in any way. And I don't want to be that guy or that gal who is totally annoying, that Christian Bible beater. So what do I do? Well, our mother knows us best, and she came at Fatima in 1917 during World War I, and she mapped out for us the challenges we would face in the 20th and 21st centuries. First, she identified the cause of all the problems in the world. People have forgotten God. Then she gave the solution. People must turn back to God by prayer, because prayer leads to personal conversion. 
people must be converted one by one before the world will change. Everyone wants to change the world, but no one wants to change themselves. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Mary came at Fatima and said, Listen, God sent me with the game plan to fix everything. For God wishes to establish in the world devotion to my immaculate heart, wanting to save it by this means. Now, devotion to the immaculate heart of Mary means consecration to her, to give her unconditional permission to enter the home of your soul. And why do this? Because the Holy Spirit and Mary together have the mission of receiving and forming Jesus in you. And that is what you want and what you need. But we are not very good at this by ourselves. We resist. And so we ask the Holy Spirit and Mary to come into us, to receive Jesus in us and form him within us through consecration. And we will do this tomorrow on the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The second thing Our Lady asked of us with this Fatima game plan is to pray the rosary every day. But she doesn't want you to only pray it alone. Because we are supposed to be God's co-workers. We're supposed to be on mission, inviting and helping others to grow closer to God. So we need to invite someone to pray the rosary with us every day. Invite your spouse or a kid or a grandkid or a friend. Do it in person, do it on the phone, Pray it by Zoom. Use every means possible, but pray the rosary with others. And we have lots of people out there who are doing something simple, but really amazing. They invite a small group of family and friends to get together once a week in person or by Zoom. They spend a little time catching up, sometimes over food and drink, and then they pray this rosary together. Some play the podcast. Some just print out the transcript, read each meditation, and then pray the decades in between. And when the rosary is over, they have some good conversation, just like Teresa and I do, simply by asking, what struck you? What were you thinking about during the meditation? It's so simple, but it works. So if you are like Nils Dahl, in New Jersey, or maybe the Curtises in Atchison, or Dr. Robert Reddig and his wife Katie and their family and friends in Kansas City, or Greg Brown, or Craig Hoyt in North Carolina, or my 87-year-old father, Art, who gathers a big group of people every week to pray the rosary. There are lots of you out there who are doing this. And I want to know who you are and what you're doing. So there's a link in the bottom of the episode. Click on that link and fill it out so I can know who are the apostles of the rosary across the world. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. With thee, blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. St. Michael the Archangel, defend and us in battle. battle. Be our, our protection, protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May, May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. pray. And do thou, do thou, O Prince of the, the heavenly hosts, host, by the power of God, God cast into hell Satan, Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, the world seeking the ruin of souls. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, Teresa, what were you reflecting on? Near the end there, talking about the need to pray together, struck me with something I don't really have an answer for, but this this kind of uh, overly prevalent isolation. Just that when you say that, it seems so simple, but at the same time, I feel like it can be really hard to convince people to pray together or get together. And that's becoming, I don't know if it's becoming increasingly more common or if that's just a feature of a more adult life because in college it was so easy to get people together. But yeah, w what are your thoughts on that? It seems like a struggle to gather people and people seem very hesitant. Yeah, absolutely. It's a terrible trend. There's a book, I, I don't remember when it came out, called Bowling Alone. Hmm, that's not what I expected at all. <clears throat> it, a researcher who goes through and shows that he documents this trend where people used to always, he took bowling as the example, uh, people would always join leagues. Mm -hmm. Nobody bowled alone. Yeah. And now everybody bowls alone. Mm -hmm. Everybody does everything alone. And this is, it's a terrible trend away, away, away from the family, away from friendship, away from doing things together to doing things alone. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the, it's really interesting. I'm reading, I'm preparing for our pilgrimage to Poland and I'm reading George Weigel's massive book on John Paul, Witness to Hope which really documents the development of communism in East hmm. Central Europe. As simultaneously, I'm reading the biography of the martyr, Father uh, Jerzy Papiuszko. Oh, wow. Uh, who was killed by the, the uh, Polish communists in the 1980s. Mm -hmm. uh, and <clears throat> one of the tools of commun atheistic communism was to isolate people. Mm -hmm. One of the tools of atheistic secularism is to isolate people. Yeah. The devil doesn't care if he uses communism or Western secularism. He just wants to isolate people because that kills faith. Kind of kills everything. Yeah. So we've got to wake up, shake ourselves off. Yeah. We kind of have to fight our own desire in that sense. I mean, I think about it in every part of my daily life that I kind of calculate, do I have to see someone to do this? <laughs> you know? Because it takes extra effort. E even if it's, 
uh, I should go to a store that has self-checkout if I possibly can. And I could I could run to the gas station, but then I'm going to have to go talk to the person at the gas station. So I'm just going to go somewhere that has self-checkout or instead of going into a restaurant, maybe there's a drive through or just another way to avoid people. If I could avoid a phone call and instead send a text or an email. And I think most people, especially my generation, are starting to feel that way. So or let me ask you. looking forward to canceled plans more than they look forward to plans. Uh, there's a cost. People cost something. Mm -hmm. Interacting with people costs something. Yeah. What's it cost? What's the price? For me, I'd say energy. Yeah. But also, there's always the chance that you're just going to have a bad interaction with someone. So it's kind of like the risk of discomfort there. Or running into someone you really don't want to. Getting there, caught in a conversation, a lot of time and energy and focus, mental energy. Yeah, there's always a risk that they're going to take more than they give. Mm -hmm. However, what will they take from us? What will they demand from us? What will we have to give? You're going to have to answer that one. Love. Mm. The only way to grow in love is to interact with other people. Yeah. I do agree. This is this is something I definitely want to change and turn around because I feel like it's one thing because it's it's more effective, let's say, to uh, use self checkout all the time. It's much quicker, but I think it is creating a habit in me where I become quite miserly with my time and my my love. Like like you said, that's very well said, and I I feel like even if that's a little inconvenience to me and it doesn't seem like a big difference, to start building up the tolerance in a way to be able to keep giving without feeling the hit every single time, but we're getting quite sensitive to it now. And I think that's why a lot of people are leaning away from companionship, being around people all the time. And this is coming from someone who is pretty introverted, but this is taking it too far where it's very difficult to see anyone. Yeah. Love is a gift of self. But we have to have somebody to give to. Mm -hmm. So we have to interact with people. And people are, just like us, are imperfect and can tend to be annoying and take energy and effort. But there's only one way into heaven and you have to become love which means you have to interact with people. But it's so easy to escape into being alone. Mm -hmm. We have to fight that, resist that temptation. Yeah, it's easier, but there's also not as much good in it. Not enough to find there. You're going to find the same thing every single time. Yeah. But to live a, a truly full life, you really do have to risk all of the discomfort, which is not that great of being around people, even when it's uncomfortable, even when they rub you the wrong way, even when it takes a lot of patience, because those are the things we need to grow in. So I, reading John, Life of John Paul in Poland, reading The Martyr, uh, Father Jerzy Papiuszko, they resisted. Mm -hmm. We need to resist. And the way Our Lady has given us to resist is pray the rosary and pray it with somebody else. Mm -hmm. It's such an easy way to resist. That's our cultural resistance. Yeah, and I think a good resolution is just to start by noticing when you're holding back or when you're avoiding something like that, avoiding spending time with others, and just give them a little and see, see how that actually turns out. I love the way it used to happen with in, in our house where <clears throat> because you and your brother Xavier have this whole group of high school friends and uh, your mom and I and and in the evening we would just whoever was happened to be in the house mm -hmm. we would just invite whoever was present to pray the rosary and we'd pray the rosary and we ended up talking and laughing and giving each other it was so human mm -hmm. and so life-giving we just I, this is what I long for, for people to just invite others, pray the rosary, spend time talking, laugh, care about each other, 
be humans. Yeah. We just have to learn to be human again. So I know there are people out there. I mentioned some during the podcast. But if you are getting together your spouse or your immediate family or friends or or anybody on a regular basis, fill out the link. Click on the link and fill out the form in the episode. I just want to know who you are, where you live, and what you're doing. (laughs) (laughs) I thought you sound like a hitman. (laughs) He will find you. The rosary hitman. (laughs) He has a special set of skills. Either way, no, fill we, it out. We, we just want to know what good you're doing. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We don't need to know your address, but maybe your city. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Safe information to share with uh, strange rosary men online. And your social security number. Mm-hmm. And your, your bank account. Your bank you, account. If you want to share that, that's... Yeah, your bank account. Your card number. Yeah. Don't forget the little pin on the back. That's right. We'll take all of that information. <laughs> whatever, whatever you've got. So thanks for the conversation, Teresa. Thank you. Let's be apostles of friendship, good conversation, and the rosary. Share this with others. If you like this, join us on our app. You'll find the link below.